Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video of TCS Baba. Hope you have watched the first 25 questions uh, of GS paper 1 of TCS TPS exam. And uh, I have seen various comments in that video also. If you guys have not seen that video, I would uh, uh, give a link above. You can go and first check out that video where I discussed all the MCQ answers of uh, GK and current affairs. In this video, I uh, will be discussing the next 25 uh, questions uh, regarding uh, general science uh, part of GS paper 1. So if uh, you want to see more such uh, videos, please uh, click on the subscribe button and if you like the video, please click on the like button. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So guys, uh, last video mein I have discussed regarding this first 25 MCQs of GK current affairs of national and international importance. Uh, abhi in this video I will be discussing the 25 MCQs of everyday science and technology. So let's uh, hop on to this, those questions. Coming to the 26th question, out of the given options which is not an inert gas. Inert gas uh, means uh, Nobel gases, the Nobel gases in our periodic table. So, if we look at it, so Freon, you can easily guess is Freon. Freon is not an inert gas. The helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. These are basically the inert gases. Freon is your fridge, air cooler, uh, air conditioner. Other method that I use for that is freon. That's a separate coolant. That is, that is not an inert gas. Okay, so 26 answer is option A. Next question: What is the chemical name of baking soda? This is very uh, easy question. So it is sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate option C is the right answer. Chemical name of baking soda. I think this is coming out a little. Okay, let's shift here. Okay. Uh, next, pasteurization of milk is done at, done at, pasteurization is done at 161 degree Fahrenheit, okay. uh, 161 degree Fahrenheit for 15 seconds high temperature short time pasteurization uh, for 30 minutes that is called wet pasteurization that is done at 145 degree Fahrenheit but I think the give, uh, out of the given option 161 is given so this will be option d move to the next question 29 one nibble one nibble is equal to uh, it's a unit of uh, memory size like in computers we have memory size so this is the conversion one byte is eight bits one nibble is four bits one byte equal to two into four bits uh, one byte is two nibble one nibble is half byte so one nibble is four bits okay so option D, one nibble. Uh, what is the pH of human blood? This is also a uh, pretty uh, common question. So pH of human blood, how do we know how much blood is? 7.35 to 7.45. This is usually the range. So if it's above, that means it is slightly alkaline or basic. Okay. So moving on to the next question. What is the device used to measure the diameter of stars? Stars ke diameter kaise measure kar sakte hai? Odometer is a speed measuring uh, meter. Seismometer is used to measure earthquake. Sorry, these two are wrong options. Interferometer is the right answer. Option A, 31. Uh, option A is the right answer. In who among the following has immense contribution in fiber optic communications and often termed as father of fiber optics? Father of fiber optics is Narinder Singh Kapani. Okay. Narinder Singh Kapani, Indian American physicist, best known for his work on fiber optics. He was awarded India's second highest civilian award, Padma Vibhushan, in 2021. That's why he is also famous. Uh, is considered as the father of fiber optics. Okay. So, answer is option D, Narinder Singh Kapani. 
नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन थर्टी थ्री हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मिरर इज यूज बाय डेंटिस्ट टू एग्जामिन स्मॉल कैविटी द आंसर इज कॉन्केव मिरर द कॉन्केव मिरर एक्चुअली इट मैग्निफाइज एनीथिंग दैट्स वेयर कॉन्केव मिरर इज यूज इन आवर सो यू गाइज कैन गिव मी इन कमेंट कि हुई मिरर इज यूज इन ए कार गाड़ी के साइड में जो मिरर होते हैं वट टाइप ऑफ मिरर इज दैट इज इट ए कॉन्वेक्स और इज इट ए कॉन्केव मिरर यू गाइज कैन राइट इन द कमेंट एंड से ठीक है बता दो गाड़ी जो चलाते हैं दो गाइज शुड नो ठीक है सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज पार्ट ऑफ एन एच एम नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन ऑफ इंडिया तो दिस इवन इफ यू डोंट नो वॉट्स द full form of uh, each option here you guys can uh, do uh, ruling out the negation method to find out uh, which is the correct answer pmay pradhan mantri awas yojana so that will obviously not be a part of health mission pmgsy is uh, gramin sadak yojana that is also not correct pmuy that is i think ujwala yojana ठीक है दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन पी एम एस एम ए प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षित मातृत्व अभियान लॉन्च बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर ठीक है प्रोग्राम एम्स टू प्रोवाइड एश्योर कंप्रीहेंसिव क्वालिटी एंटी नेटल केयर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी टू ऑल प्रेगनेंट वुमेन ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ एवरी मंथ सो दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन uh moving on to the next question the instrument cryometer pata nahi ye rone ka meter hai shayad <laughs> cryometer is used to measure cryometer kis liye use hota hai cryometer is a thermometer used to measure very low temperature of objects so option b low temperature of objects instrument cryometer is used to measure वेरी लो टेम्परेचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट नॉट अपना रोना धोने वाला मीटर ठीक है द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लिनक्स स्टैंड फॉर एक्चुअली आई वॉज सरप्राइज टू सी दिस क्वेश्चन आई नेवर थॉट अबाउट द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ लिनक्स तो आई एम यूजिंग लिनक्स फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स तो इट्स गुड की आई सर्च ऑन द नेट एंड फाउंड वॉट्स लिनक्स स्टैंड फॉर सो लिनक्स स्टैंड फॉर Lovable intellect, not using XP means <laughs> Linux was developed by Linus Torvalds. Uh, Torvalds. So, and the full form is lovable intellect, not using XP. XP is I don't know maybe XP uh, refers to Windows XP at that time when it was uh, when it was found. Uh, Linux was uh, found. maybe that's the reason for why it's uh, named linux there is always some sort of uh, uh, some sort of ego game going on between people who uses uh, windows who uses uh, linux uh, so uh, maybe the linux guy thinks they are thoda sa above some a, a little bit of geeky guy they may be they are <laughs> so anyways uh, this was a very fun question uh, full form of linux lovable intellect not using linux okay so the answer is option a lovable intellect not using xp okay uh, the next question uh, isko bahut dhoondna pada mujhe i couldn't find it uh, right out of the box in internet anyways uh, to combat the problem of fake printing of passport and counterfeiting of currency notes a security by fluorescent golden ink with dual emissive luminescent pigment red and green was recently discovered by i think uh, the word should not be discovered it should not be discovered it should be developed by or something the, because when i searched for by fluorescent golden ink discovered by that uh, showed that they showed some some other scientist i uh, couldn't i can't uh, remember his name Uh, but uh, the thing is this technology is uh, uh, developed jointly by uh, csir council of scientific and industrial research along with npl national physical Lab- uh, laboratory 
तो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सी एस आई आर एन पी एल न्यू डेली ठीक है सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्रेफिक्स नैनो अपना वो गाड़ी नहीं है नॉट टाटा नैनो सो द नैनो इज लाइक नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी यू कैन से दैट कम्स फ्रॉम दैट वर्ड द नैनो वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम दैट वर्ड सो द नैनो इज फ्रॉम ए ग्रीक ओरिजिन इट मीन्स नैनोस मीन्स ड्वार्फ ठीक है सो द ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ए ग्रीक वर्ड मीन्स ड्वार्फ नैनो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द ए बी ओ सिस्टम ब्लड ग्रुप ओ कैरेक्टराइज कैरेक्टराइज बाई द ए बी ओ सिस्टम लाइक हम लोग का uh, खून से दो दो क्वेश्चन हो गया द पी एच लेवल ऑफ आवर ब्लड इज एल्कालाइन इट्स अराउंड सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एंड नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए बी ओ सिस्टम लाइक ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी और ए बी एंड ब्लड ग्रुप ओ सो how is uh, uh, blood group o characterized so the question is all regarding the antigen presence of antigen okay so uh, two things are there if they have given antigen that is fine like uh, blood group o has neither a nor b antigens okay on red cells so O is characterized by absence of both antigen A and antigen B. So, 39 option D is the right answer. The thing is, but both A and B antibody are in the plasma. So, the question here asked is antigen. Antigen. So, antigen A and antigen B both are not present in group O blood. Okay, but antibody if they were asking antibody then both a and b antibody are there in the plasma but here the answer is option d antigen a and b are absent in group o the so next question is high protein diet is given to person suffering from uh, i think the option is cirrhosis the liver cirrhosis not gout or tubercul uh, tuberculosis or jaundice uh, normally Uh, doctors prescribe uh, uh, person suffering from liver cirrhosis to eat diet which are low in sodium and high in protein and rich in anti-inflammatory foods okay so i think the answer is cirrhosis if this is the correct uh, correct word that is uh, written please correct me if i wrong in the comments okay the op for option uh, question 40 the answer is option a cirrhosis and the next question question number 41 क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन इज थोड़ा सा डाउटफुल फॉर मी हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए माइक्रो न्यूट्रियंट हियर इट्स रिटर्न माइक्रो न्यूट्रियंट सो आई एम रेफरिंग इट टू द माइक्रो न्यूट्रियंट नीडेड फॉर ह्यूमन बॉडी ह्यूमन कंजम्पन विच आर एसेंशियल फॉर ह्यूमन बॉडी जिंक इज ऑब्वियसली करेक्ट which of the following sorry which of the following is not a micro not micronutrient so zinc is uh, a micronutrient so option is uh, here wrong uh, calcium is also a micronutrient so here again wrong boron as far as i know is also a micronutrient so it is also wrong molybdenum is also a micronutrient so i uh, so this is what my conclusion is there are no correct options given here or all of them are micronutrients so i don't know please uh, if i am wrong please write it in the comment or maybe this question has to be sent for review also in the first video uh, in the first video also earlier video also uh, i have seen one question there was something wrong in this video also i am finding the question number 41 regarding micronutrient maybe the option is wrong so you might uh, go for review of this question uh, if i am wrong please write it in the comment pata nahi kya ho raha hai har ek video mein ek ek galat question ya answer nikal raha hai uh, next question number 42 nuclear energy is obtained by the by the chemical process this is fusion and fission both so both a both of a and b okay fusion fusion both of them uh 
can create nuclear energy so the 42's answer is option C next question very interesting question melting temperature of DNA is the temperature at which so the melting temperature is defined as the temperature at which 50% of double stranded DNA is changed into single stranded DNA okay so this is uh, the answer here option B 50% of DNA is denatured denatured is basically where uh, the DNA sort of changes its character from double to single stranded this is what is uh, called as denatured uh, or denaturing of DNA so here 50% double stranded DNA is changing to single stranded that is the melting temperature of DNA so the answer is option B next question which of the following substance predominantly found in urine <laughs> found in urine Chalo, sahi hai. Uh, the answer is uh, basically the predominantly it okay predominantly it should be water and then urea uh, but here uh, among the uh, following options so the answer is creatinine okay so 44 answer creatinine urea creatinine uric acid uh, uric acid and trace amounts of enzymes and some other things so these are the main components of urine next question sun sun's uh, mass mainly consists of suraj mama suraj mama hydrogen helium carbon dioxide silicon so as we know sun is basically a gas ball that's it nothing else it's only gas ball and uh, three-fourth is hydrogen and um, and then uh, uh, is helium and rest or some other uh, some other uh, gas uh, yeah so around 73 percent is hydrogen the rest is mostly he helium and then uh, some other heavier elements like oxygen carbon neon iron are there okay so here mainly consist of answer will be option a hydrogen Chalo. next option again global warming global warming which of the following gas has highest contribution in global warming answer is obviously option a carbon dioxide highest contribution in global warming carbon dioxide is responsible for 53 percent of the level of global warming the next is methane methane goes for 15 percent then there are hfc's uh, chlorofluorocarbons some uh, some other sulfur based is it sf6 i'm not sure maybe sulfur based or nitrogen based i'm not sure i don't know this Anyways, so the answer is option A, carbon dioxide for the highest contribution in global warming. These are uh, basically greenhouse gases. Okay. Next is the study of images of deities falls within a branch of art history called study of images of deities. Bhagwan ke uh, pictures, idols, unlo ko study karne ka branch kaun sa hai? in art history the answer is iconography iconography that the traditional or conventional image or symbols associated with a subject especially a religious or legendary subject so iconography is the answer 47 option d next we think digital by facebook ke saath, i think they love facebook uh, I think in the last video also we have seen one question regarding cryptocurrency yeah Libra Libra cryptocurrency that is also that was also launched or that is supposed to be launched by Facebook here also we think digital the digital literacy program of which global technology company the answer is Facebook okay. we think digital from Facebook so whoever is spending time in Facebook, just don't spend time in Facebook. Bhai Facebook ke mein jano. <laughs> they were asking questions about Amazon also. 
सो लर्न अबाउट अमेजन ऑल्सो मे बी गूगल और एप्पल नेक्स्ट टाइम आ जाए क्या पता ठीक है सो डोंट जस्ट यूज देयर प्रोडक्ट नो अबाउट दोज कंपनीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एम्बुलेटरी मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ ई सी जी इज कॉल्ड दिस इज दिस मे बी ट्रिक इफ यू नो यू नो इफ यू डोंट नो तो क्या पता होल्टर मॉनिटर होल्टर मॉनिटर इज अ टाइप ऑफ एम्बुलेटरी इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफ डिवाइस सो द आंसर इज होल्टर कार्डियोग्राफी ठीक है फोर्टी नाइन बी होल्टर कार्डियोग्राफी मुझे नहीं पता क्या है एनी डॉक्टर में से वॉट इज इट Which vaccine is given soon after birth of an infant? The answer is hepatitis B. Okay, option A, hepatitis B. All babies should get first shot of hepatitis hepatitis B within the first twelve hours after birth. So here ends our fifty total fifty MCQs of GS paper one. So we have covered total fifty questions. Cover kar liye MCQ. नेक्स्ट पोर्शन जी एस पेपर वन में है न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी सो द न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी आई डोंट थिंक कि डायरेक्ट अगर आंसर में बता दूँ दैन दैट विल बी गुड आई थिंक आई हैव टू सॉल्व ईच एंड ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन एंड शो यू मे बी दैट वुड बी गुड और यू गाइज जस्ट वॉन्ट द आंसर ऑफ द न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी पार्ट द ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन so please write down in the comment below what type of uh, video you want the next one regarding the numerical ability either directly i will just give you the answer or i will uh, i will uh, maybe solve the question uh, in the video and then give you the answer so whichever way you want just give me in the comment below and i will make a video accordingly so that's it uh, for today guys uh, see you in the next video chalo bye